Clean Ocean Action hosts our beach sweeps two times a year at 70 locations statewide. And it's incredibly important that we're out here with all the volunteers cleaning the beaches. But what's even more important is the data that we collect during the beach sweeps. So all the volunteers at the beach sweeps become citizen scientists for a day by recording every single item that they pick up off of the beaches. Clean Ocean Action uses the data from our biannual beach sweeps to advocate for policies that help to reduce litter at the source. The ultimate goal is to not have to host beach sweeps at all because there's no litter on our beaches. So we advocate for policies like litter enforcement and banning single-use plastics to address marine debris at the source. To fill out your Clean Ocean Action data card while you're at the beach sweeps, the first thing you want to make sure to do is to fill out all the information on the front of the data card. That includes information like your cleanup site, so the town, the county, the beach captain name. Record the number of volunteers that are working with you in your group to tally and collect all this debris. The date of the cleanup and the name of your group or school or organization that you're participating with. Then you'll fill out your specific volunteer information. So that's your contact information. And then there's some special sections on the data card for filling out brand names. So things that you find a lot of while you're out on the beach, we wanna make sure that we know what brands to keep track of and most unusual items. So every year we publish a roster of the ridiculous. So all those unusual items will get compiled into that roster. Of and then lastly, there's a section for any additional comments and observations. So if you see things like entangled animals or dead animals or anything else worth noting, that's the section on the data card where you'd wanna put that. Then on the back of the data card is where you're going to actually tally every single piece of debris that you've collected during your cleanup. There's an example at the top of the data card for exactly what your tallies and totals should look like. So when you pick up an item, let's say a plastic straw, you'll find that item on the data card. Now the data card is broken up by the different types of material. So this top half right here is plastic. There's a section for foam plastic. And then you have personal protective equipment, balloons and rubber, metal, paper, cloth, wood, and glass. So you may notice that the top half of the data card is plastic. So those are the most commonly found items. So if you have a plastic straw, you'll find the plastic section at the top of the data card. And then you'll find plastic straw under food takeout containers. Next to the line where straws and stirrers are, you'll put a single tally mark. And if you had five plastic straws, you put five tally marks. At the end of the cleanup, you'll total all of your tally marks and those totals go in the boxes at the end of each line. Once you've totaled all of your tallies on your data card, you're all finished. So make sure to hand in your data card to the beach captain at your site and know that you have done an awesome job and contributed to a database that spans decades that helps us to reduce litter and marine debris at the source.